If the DVD is inserted first, then the computer switched on, then Windows will automatically run as shown here. After a number of basic files have been installed, you will have the opportunity to change the language, time and currency format, and keyboard or input method. In our example, we shall set the time and currency to English United Kingdom. Next, you will have the option to repair your computer, or install now. Since this is a clean installation, we click on install now. Here you will be prompted for the product key. Unlike previous versions of Windows, you can carry on and enter the product key after the installation. You'll also be prompted to automatically activate Windows when I'm online. In our example, we shall remove this option. A message is displayed warning that if you do not activate Windows Vista before the 30 days trial period, then you could potentially lose data. The next screen allows us to choose different versions of Windows Vista. The version that you choose depends upon the one you have purchased. If you select the wrong one, or the product key does not suit your copy, then it may not be possible to activate it. We shall select Windows Vista Ultimate. Then confirm it. The following screen is the license terms. If you was upgrading an existing installation, for example Windows XP, to Windows Vista, then both these options would be available. Since this is a fresh installation, we can leave this as custom. Now we have the opportunity to select where Windows Vista should be installed. In some cases you may have more than one drive, or we could split the drive or partition it. To keep things simple, we should select Disk zero, so it will be used the whole hard drive space. The rest of the installation is pretty much automatic.
Here we should be prompted for a username and password. And a computer name is required and if one is not created then Windows will automatically create one for you. We can also change the background at this point. From time to time Windows will require updating and here we have the opportunity to configure this. In our example we shall choose Ask Me Later. Now we have the option to change the time zone, date and time. And finally, the setup that we require, home, business or public. Final checks are made before Windows Vista installation is completed.